Well, hello and welcome to tonight's camp spot. Going to be pitching on the side of Loch Fine in this wee bay. Should be sheltered enough, I don't think there's a great wind forecast tonight anyway, so I'll probably have the midges to deal with later on. It's ideal here, down by the shore. And there's the shore on the other side, so I'm on this wee spit of land. It does uh, expand as you go out, again out towards the coast on that side, but there is a path that goes up there, over that wee hill, but it's absolutely full of bracken, so I'm not going to bother investigating that. I do have the drone with me tonight so I might give that a wee fly although I'm still a bit rusty on it but I'll give it a bash maybe after a couple of beers but that's uh, tonight's pitch anyway so looks like a cracking wee spot. Start off the footprint this time. I thought I'd uh, forgotten the last time I was out the kayak so I remember this time. I think I'll just pitch the tent this way. The door on this side so I can look up the loch. That's me all set up. I brought some firewood, just some uh, hardwood logs that I split just to get it started. Don't need to have a wee scavenge along the shore and see if there's any any driftwood. There's not much on this side, but there might be some on the other side of the wee bay. I've got my wee table set up, my beers, my wee seat. Inside the tent, usual sleeping arrangements. Bit of sand, ex bed mat, wrap sleeping bag, fluffy pillow. That's my drone in there. That's my gas and cookie type stuff in there uh, and for dinner tonight seems to be run the mill now salt and chilli sizzle steak I like those emergency beer keeping the steak cold bottle of water and uh, for dessert we'll be having some uh, orange clubs maybe more than one maybe more than two anyway and I remembered a plate last time I had to eat my, my dinner off a slate when I was in Loch Tarzan so <laughs> Yeah, it's turned out to be a good night. The sun keeps showing its face for a wee bit. 
There's a wee boat just pulled into the bay over there, a wee kind of a wee river, a wee sib or something, a tender. I don't I can't even see a yacht that might have came from, but maybe they're just doing a spot of fishing tonight. An ideal wee location, so I'm going to sit back, crack open at least one beer, have something to eat, chill out. Cheers. This is tonight's beauty regime. I've already put on this smidge and I've already put on this stuff as well. It's called Repel Shield and that's for ticks. Apparently it's alright for the skin and the clothes so I sprayed it all over my trousers coming in or before I came in there because uh, you'll see there's a lot of bracken and stuff and they'll be loaded with, with ticks. Uh, the smidge I'm just going to keep topping up during the night. I do have the firewood. I might start a fire. I think I'm going to use your uh, citronella uh, incense sticks as well and I actually remember to bring my thermosel which is the wee thing that goes on top of your gas bottle you put a wee pad in it, light it and it gives off a vapour kind of thing so we'll see how that goes tonight might be a good night to try that actually but I've only got one gas cylinder so if I'm having the midgey thing on I can't cook my dinner so when I'm cooking my dinner I'll just have to suffer the midges but we can deal with that later on there are a few midges out just now so just with that drop in wind but if you see the sun again it might uh, keep the bay for a wee bit longer but I really don't want to start the fire just now but we we'll have this beer and then we'll head over to the other wee bay there and see if I can get some uh, firewood collected it doesn't have to be a great deal just enough to, to give off some smoke certainly warm enough just now I think it was about 16 degrees or something uh, I went a walk this morning at 6 o'clock and the car was saying it was 7 degrees so it is still kind of cold at night as much as it is summer time Anyway, I'll we'll have this beer and uh, we'll go beach combing for some, uh, some firewood. There's the wee thermocell thing. I'm just going to screw it onto the gas canister. And go, you've got an on and an off. Put that on. If you can hear that hissing or not. And just push this up, I think. I can see a wee flame in there. I don't know if the camera's picking up or not. There's a wee kind of mesh you can look through, so. That's an old pad I had in from Monday or Tuesday. Uh, or was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday and I was out trying to do the first fly of the drone. Uh, but we'll see if any vapour comes off it. If not, I'll swap it out for a, another one. These, they've got a burn time of four hours. But I think once you take them out, they're kind of foil wrapper. They might lose their, their properties. But we'll see how it goes anyway. It takes a wee bit to eat up. We'll see if that helps the midges. There's the new toy, I'm just about to launch it. Uh, it's the DJI Mini 4 Pro, if anyone's interested. So it's my first drone. I've only flown it a couple of times. I've managed a couple of pictures and I've uh, taken a few videos. So the only thing is I'll need to take the SD card out the GoPro and stick it in the DJI because I've only got one SD card. I forgot to order one when I ordered the drone and I've not had a chance to get into town to get one. So I'm running my one SD card for the It'll uh, corrupt the files or you can interchange it between the DJI and the GoPro, I don't know, but you may not see this footage at all and I'm talking to nobody because it hasn't actually recorded. Anyway, I hope the stuff's in the GoPro, the stuff on the DJI thing isn't, the, the drone isn't the essential, but I'm, uh, I'm going to send it up into the air just before I have a, a couple of more peers. <laughs>
that's me done my flight. Hopefully you'll have seen that footage because I took the SD card out of the GoPro into the DJI and then back out into the GoPro. Uh, the re-thermocell thing is burning away here. So I'm in some kind of vapour. Uh, the midges were brutal earlier on when I was flying the drones. I actually kind of walked a wee bit along there. But for my sins, because I walked away from this or whatever, it's a coincidence, but I got a few bites in the back of the hand. Those kind of big pink, red, angry dots. And a couple, oh, and inside of my wrist, that's where I come up with midgy bites. Lots of people come out in wee red dots, but that's what happens to me, so hopefully that's doing some good. I think I'll still be lighting the fire and lighting a couple of incense sticks, the citronella ones, just to make sure, but oh, it's a cracking night. It's just, uh, it must be about quarter past, twenty past eight, so I'm just going to stick my, my dinner on, have that, and then uh, I'll think about lighting the fire, I think. Quite overcast now, but still a cracking night. There's a yacht sailing up between that island and a wee bit of headland there. Good night, but it's no sailing, it's, it's motoring along I guess, but oh, what a place. 20 past 8, so I'm just going to get the wee spicy steaks on. Cook it outside in the fresh air. I've had to take the thermocell off just to use the, the gas stove for cooking. Not to worry. I'll keep the midges away if nothing else does. There we go. Actually fit two in the pan this time. Slightly bigger third one. I'm on the emergency beer already. I've still got two of the other beers left. But quite fancy a normal one. Cheers. Dinner is served. So quite thick compared to the normal ones you get. Probably why they're smaller. Right, let's try this one for size. Thing of beauty. Seagulls are waiting for it already. Definitely nice and juicy. You usually sit here with salt and pepper around your uh, dinner table, but I've got smidge and tick repellent. That is camping life. Well, I've almost had my dinner. I actually put on steak number three and I'm halfway through it, but I had to get up for the midges. Uh, but this is this is camping life. A mess. Empty cans, full cans, half eaten dinner, midge spray, tick spray, cook set, wrapping, drone, rucksack outside. And I'm actually waving this thing about as well because the midges are that bad. <laughs> Just like doing an exorcism on them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's camping life. It's not as glamorous as it looks in all the photos and footage, but it is what it is. I'll have a tidy up, honest, but. Well, that's the, the process of cooking food in the great outdoors. Maybe I'm worse than others, I don't know. Anyway, just take in the scenery. That's what it's all about. I've just stuck the thermocell on after having din-dins. Let that heat up. I'm really waiting for that. I've got a wee smoking midge cone. And I've got the incense stick as well. A stunning night. The tide's actually coming in for a change. Usually when I'm out and about by uh, any tidal locks, I see it when the tide's out. 
go to bed, wake up, tide's still out, so it's actually been quite good to watch the tide coming in tonight. My mate's always adamant, you should be camping by the water anyway. I think he's right. The water or summits, I think. Ends my view. I don't think I'd like to be stuck in a forest somewhere with no open aspect. That's the wood supply for tonight. I just broke up what I'd collected, plus the stuff I brought in as well. Some of the kind of better stuff for kindling that I chopped up before I left the house. Had a wee tidy up, a couple of beers to have. It was about half past nine, so once I get the fire going, I'm about to sit back, chill out for a bit. The uh, thermocell and the incest stick are still burning me up there. The smoking midge is giving up, it's burnt out, but it's certainly working to keep the midges away just now. But once I get this bad boy lit, it shouldn't be an issue with the midges, it's more uh, for the smoke than uh, heat tonight, it's still relatively mild. Uh, so I'll just get this lit and uh, put on some music, crack open the beer. Choice of beverage, uh, Desperado's original beer. I think it's laced with uh, lime and tequila. I can't actually read what's in it because I'm blind, but uh, I've been watching Moffat Mountain Adventure. I see he heads out and about, and this is his uh, drink of choice, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I mean, seen it in Spain years ago and having it in Spain, uh, but it was available in the local garage when I was buying my steaks, so I thought I'd give it a try, but it certainly goes down well, it's actually quite refreshing with the lime in it, so ideal. There wasn't much smoke coming off the fire there, so I put on a bit of seaweed, but jeez man, a bit sparky. This is the life. Cheers. Right, uh, that's about half past ten. I won my last beer, stuck a couple of logs, or twigs should I say, on the fire just to, to burn off in the next 20 minutes or so and I'll be heading to my bed. So I'd just like to take this uh, opportunity to thank you for watching this far. I'll probably do a wee bit of footage in the morning uh, as I head off. And if it's as calm as this, I might put the drone up again. I don't know if I'll capture anything different than I did earlier on, but a little bit daylight hours. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Give you a thumbs up. You can make that in the GoPro in the poor light. And I'll catch you in the morning. Well, good morning. As you will have seen and heard, it's a wee bit wet out this morning. And opened the door there, the midges are still there waiting for us despite the rain. I thought the rain might have chased them away, but you know, they're upset because they never got near me last night. That's my initial couple of bites. It's uh, just after five o'clock, so plenty of time to kick back and hopefully the rain will stop. I'll stick the radio on for a wee while, I think. Stream some music. And, uh, We'll see if the weather improves before it's time to pack up. I do have to be down the road for work, but that can be any time between now and 10 o'clock in the morning, so no immediate hurry. No school run, so not so bad, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how the morning pans out. I don't think the rain's going to go off any time soon.
rain's actually just stopped, so it'll be a hasty decamp, strip down the, the tent. Uh, that's left over from the fire last night, so I'll just rake that out, pull that gravel back over the bit where I had the fire, disperse the stones, leave no trace. That's me all packed up. I managed to get the tent on the outside of the rucksack and still get the cover over it so that'll keep everything dry, make things a wee bit easier uh, when I'm hiking out of here. I think my bag empties to, to carry as well. So it's been a cracking spot. Still enjoyed the camp last night. Hope you did too. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again. Cheers!